Hi everyone, I've been seeing a lot of, um, on the internet, a lot of the nail polished um, marbled fingernails and stuff like that, which I thought was kind of cool. But I was thinking of different ways to maybe use that same thing, that same technique, but on, on a different kind of a surface. And what I came up with was, um, have you ever seen the unfinished wood beads like this one? Uh, it's got the hole in the middle. This is a little one, which would be fun to make a bracelet out of. Um, and we can dip it in um, the nail polish. Here's one that, that's finished. I'm going to bring it a little closer. Um, I dipped that one in, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how I did that. It's kind of neat. And you can dip other things as well. I might as well show you that first. Um, like here I did a, oops, a napkin holder which and then I put like a high gloss over it so that's kind of neat some of the wood grain still shows through but that's okay too and here's another wood piece where it's a star and I just I dipped that one twice and um, also put a gloss on there too but that's kind of kind of a fun thing the possibilities are endless so here's a larger wood bead so that you can kind of see um, this was only dipped once and here's one I did where I dipped it, I had painted it black first and then I dipped the color on there that gives it a little bit of a different look. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here is, all I took was a wooden skewer and I put tape on the bottom so that it wouldn't fall off and I put tape on the top because wood floats so when we dip it in the water what would naturally happen is the bead would would go up and then you wouldn't get um, you wouldn't have the whole thing dipped in so this is what I concocted so that it, it won't come up and I'll show you how to do it I'm going to kind of zoom in on the glass of water so you'll need wood beads um, skewer glass of water um, and nail polish and that's pretty much all you need um, it's good to have a little bit of wax paper if you're doing something like the um, napkin holder to put it down on um, with the the beads you can you know if you have a piece of styrofoam at the end you can have them all sticking out to dry and, and stuff like that so I'm gonna zoom in and let you kinda see how this works close up because it's kinda neat and we'll go from there okay you can use whatever nail polish you have laying around or if you're making a gift for somebody if they have a nail polish that they wear all the time they can have an accessory that would match so I'm gonna use a purple you can always go to like the dollar store um, or something like that to get um, some additional nail polish for cheap um, in a variety of colors and I'm just gonna put I don't know maybe four or five six drops in here of the dark purple and it really depends also on the size of the object that you're dipping how much you might want to put in there so there's some of this in there you can kind of have them in together or you know kind of drop it in wherever it ends up landing okay and then we'll put a little bit of yellow in there to brighten it up and the nail polish kind of floats right on top of the water which is pretty neat. It's pretty neat just to even look at it. Okay, so we'll throw some of that on there. Now we'll take one of the other skewers and you want to kind of go through and marble it up a little bit. So it's all pretty. Then all you have to do is take it and dip it in and bring it right out right away. And there you have it. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. And then you just let it dry and then if you don't like it, if you didn't felt like you didn't get enough color on there, which I think we did here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, let it dry and then you can put a high gloss coat on there. Um, I use like a triple thick one which works really well. You know, take, cuts down on how many times you have to, to do it. So there you have it. And then if you make um, a bracelet out of a bunch of these, how pretty would that be? String it up and beat it as you normally would.